Before we get started, I want to discuss the difference between the VTEC and the variable valve timing systems. The Honda iVTEC system uses both. The VVT system, or VTC system, as Honda likes to call it, changes the phase of the intake camshaft via oil pressure. It changes the intake valve timing continuously. On the other hand, the VTEC mechanism changes the valve lift and timing by using more than one cam profile. Code P0011 deals with the variable valve timing VTC portion of the system versus the VTEC portion of the system. My name is Mia and today we're here discussing code P0011 camshaft intake timing performance. So the first thing we want to do with this code is check the oil. The variable valve timing system is dependent on oil pressure. So let's start here. Check the oil. And it's full and clean. If you got a scan tool, one of the easiest ways to tell if the VVT system is working correctly is to use this functional test in the scan tool. And as you'll see, the test is designed specifically for code P0011. And let's go ahead and start this test. And we've got a manual transmission. And now wants us to start the engine. And now it wants us to bring the engine RPMs up. system is normal. I should have mentioned before we started this process that this vehicle doesn't actually have any problems. Uh, the VVT system is working as designed. If this vehicle did have a problem, the next thing we want to do is check the VVT screen and the solenoid. What we're going to do first is to get to those components is remove the belt and the tensioner. This is a 14 millimeter wrench. Pull in the tensioner and we'll slip it off of the alternator down here. And the next thing I want to do is remove the idler pulley. There's two bolts holding it in. I've already taken out one. And then there's this little bracket bolt as well. I've taken that out. So we're going to take out the last bolt, which I've already loosened, and then we're just going to slide this guy out of the way like that. Then remove the tensioner bolt, the center bolt. And the tensioner pulley. Okay, and with this bolt, we are going to have the tensioner out of here. And now we can see the VVT screen, which is held in place by two 10 millimeter bolts. We're going to go ahead and remove those. And that will give us access to the VVT screen.
And here we have the VVT screen. Like I said, this is my car. My car runs great, not to brag, but as you can see, the VVT screen is nice and clean, clear. Um, we were looking for metal debris and junk in there that could uh, prevent it be clogging the VVT screen. Um, So next thing we're going to do is remove the oil control solenoid valve, take off this connector, and then I've already removed this uh, one bolt here that was holding it in place, and we're going to snake it out of here. Oops. There we go. Once again, we're going to be checking the oil control solenoid for debris in these screens. This one's nice and clean. Um, we could also jump it here at the connector to battery power to test it as well to see if it's doing its thing, but uh, we commanded it on with the scan tool earlier, so that tells us it's good on this vehicle. 